From the moment he debuted, this superstar has known how to make an entrance. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 138 pounds, Eric Draven. Since when did superstars get to pick their own names? I don't know, since they had conviction about who they are? Time to see what Tavish's prized pupil is really made of. It's Mr. Money in the Bank. And his partner from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. He's been demanding this match for quite some time, and now he is ready to compete. Chad Gable, big opportunity here tonight. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable! Chad Gable is a gold medalist who went to the next level as a member of the Alpha Academy. Chad Gable always competes at the highest level, both mentally and physically. Oh, Saxton, stop sucking up. Gable will never uh, thank you. Well, here comes the man who's completely transformed himself. The prize student of the Alpha Academy. Four point Otis. And from Superior, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds, Otis. Otis is laser focused and has destroyed everyone who stepped in his path. Well, Corey, he's not gullible anymore, right? I agree completely. Otis is a superstar to be reckoned with. The number one guy in the Alpha Academy. I don't know about you guys, but I miss the old Otis. This new Otis makes me want to hide under the announce desk. Good. We'll let you know when he leaves. I never thought I'd say this, but the former Locke has teamed up with his WWE nemesis, Sami Zayn, to take on Alpha Academy here on Raw. The newly returned superstar is clearly doing whatever it takes to get back to the incredible heights he experienced in his WWE debut, ironically enough, against Sammy. Desperate times call for desperate measures, Saxton, and do you hear that? It's the sound of Shawn Michaels' 58-day clock ticking down by the second. There's a wheelbarrow. Boom, DDT. 
Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Oh! Otis running into some trouble here. Otis is running to a roadblock. Oh, just gouging the face. Ripping and tearing at the face. He's absorbed some damage already. Got flipped upside down there. Suplex brings him down. A heel hook locked in. You can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. There's not much room out there. D, D, T, face first. Oh! Just hot shot it to the outside. Has him wrangled. Oh, down by the DDT. And now the admittingly divisive Sami Zayn attempting to rally the WWE Universe behind him. I'm not sure if it's really worth the trouble, though, Sami. Down the apron! The hardest part of the ring. Hurricane Rana! Unbelievable athleticism. Here we go, your favorite call, Blue Thunder Ball! position here. Long fall, and even harder impact. And Sammy is looking to the crowd for some support. I don't know anyone that's more deserving of some praise and appreciation. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoyed every minute of it. Constant attacks from Zayn. Yeah, Sammy now fully in control. And that's what we call the tree of woe position, folks. Makes him pay with a counter. Wow, belly to belly. Nothing fancy here.
Good luck cracking this code. It's the former lock. Michigan, weighing in at 138 pounds, Eric Draven. The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. You got to raise your game. Styles operates on a different level. He has to understand that. You can say that again, Cole. AJ Styles truly breathes that rarefied air of sports entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the phenomenal one. A man who exceeded all expectations in WWE and is now a first ballot Hall of Famer. And his opponent, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ. AJ Styles is an athlete who many would argue possesses the best all-around skill set in WWE. Styles has an unmatched drive to win. Undeterred passion, fire, and desire. And we're going to see it on display tonight, courtesy of the Phenomenal One. You know, being known as Phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Well, anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume that it's going to turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight. AJ Styles and his upstart opponent are about to face off in one of WWE's most punishing tests, a last man standing match. Styles was offended that he wasn't considered to be a part of the former Locks faction. He's rumored to be starting. I haven't been asked either. Don't hold your breath, Byron. Boom, what impact! Brought down with a snap air. Nice drop kick, so precise. Tossed into the corner. Quick shot to the jaw. Oh my god, a DDT! Spiked him. Oh! Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. And down! Ooh. Styles has no control here, but AJ can't let this flourish. Derail. Oh my god! Good lord! Taking flight! It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring, there is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Oh! Ooh, that got turned around on Styles. Now would be the 
time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Ow! Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Left foot hospital, right foot graveyard. AJ's eyes are glazed over. All wrapped up. Over clutch and the five is carry takeover. Incredible. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. The steel chair. Looks like he's opted to go with the simple but effective statement here. And he is daring his opponent to face him with the steel chair. He has truly gone to a different zone, you guys. That's seven. We may be getting to the end. Oh boy, he's stalking him, watching for an opening. What impact! Right in the kisser. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Well, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Reciprocating the initial reversal. And Styles is taking a lot of offense now. AJ's got to slow this momentum down. And we might be about to go from Comet. Styles a step ahead. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Styles taking it by surprise. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. He gets back into the ring. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Here we go. Guess he didn't think that was enough. Striking while his opponent is still vulnerable. Styles being measured and could be near. Turn out the lights, the party's over. Now's the time to capitalize. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. Coming back in the ring. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Count still climbing. We're up to seven now. Back in the ring now. Oh, wow. Rendered unconscious. The official has to call it. Here is your winner, Eric Draven. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. Wow, it is like looking in the mirror.
I'm not sure what you mean by that. I'm just saying our careers have taken a similar course. We both cut our teeth in the international circuit. We both were touted as future champions when we debuted here. We both were let go. And then we both returned and won the championship. Well, you haven't done that part yet. I hadn't really thought about all that, I guess. And I'm working on the championship part. It's actually kind of creepy. Are you intentionally copying me? No, just a coincidence. But we could actually work well together because of everything we have in common. Talking about your new faction, huh? I don't know. Maybe we're too similar to coexist. We might butt heads. We're not that similar. I mean, I didn't go to NXT when I came back to WWE like you did. That's true. I did have a nice run there when I beat Robert Roode for the NXT Championship. Maybe you could prove how different we are by taking on Roode on NXT, but beating him in under five minutes, which is a lot less time than it took me. That's exactly what I was thinking. That is kind of creepy. See? Anyway, give it a go and we'll talk. He's dominated the world, and now he's set his sights on WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan, Weighing in at 138 pounds, Eric Draven. The arena's buzzing, social media's buzzing, a big fight feel in a main event level match. This superstar's roller coaster looks ready for one more ride. Prepare for a truly glorious arrival. A champion in NXT and WWE, no one else is glorious. glorious. And his opponent, representing Dirty Dogs from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds. Measures up in the ring or 
on the entrance ramp. Because nobody makes an instant impact quite like Robert Roode does. He's held the NXT title, Tag Team Championships, the United States title. Robert Roode is all business. Robert Roode has tasted success both as a tag team competitor and in singles action. And you know, Byron, he's proved he's dangerous in any situation, any night of the week. Yeah, like it or not, Michael, Robert Roode has made a career out of making the most out of his opportunities. Roode is a serious threat to any superstar, and Robert Roode is always ready to get his hands dirty. change of scenery for Robert Roode, the superstar formerly known as The Lock, but the objective remains the same, score a crucial W. And do it fast. Both competitors will only have five minutes to get the job done. Time is certainly running out on the former Lock's chances at winning a WWE Championship, so the faster the better for this surging superstar. The clock's ticking. Boom, what a kick. Oh. Hoisted up, inverted face lock applied. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. He's getting a little batter now. And he's able to counter. All to the back of the neck. Boom! Bicycle knee strike. On the jaw. Oh, what a kick. Leaping into the wheelbarrow. Up and up. Put into the corner now. And it's a long way down from there. High risk here. I don't know what more we can see in this match. From the top. High risk. Carolina from the top. That was awesome, Cole. Oh, it is over. And that could get Rude down. It was all three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. Guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. Boom! Bam! Right. Oh, all the way to the outside. Leaping into the wheelbarrow, up and around. Into the DDT! Attack after attack is smothering Robert. Rude needs to find a spark. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. That takes them down. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Enable oh. to counter. Rude might be waking up now. Rude was being tested, but finally was able to get some offense of his own in. Look what he's got here. Shit in your face after that one. He's on the rope to the ref. Wisely stops the count. And Rude reverses. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. And he's just picking him apart now. The advantage is squarely in his corner. Ah, oh, double knee face breaker. This match may be nearing its limit. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Rude can't be feeling glorious right now. Oh, but he's in trouble. Oh, turn out the lights. The party's over. Try to that belongs on a highlight reel. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, Eric Draven. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat.
Just wanted to say thanks for the apology gift basket you sent New Day. It really meant a lot. No problem. Sorry all that ever happened. All is forgiven. And now that we're on better terms, I was dismayed to see the precarious situation you found yourself in. Is there anything I or the New Day can do to help? Actually, I am looking to start a faction of my own to help get me out of all this. I know you'll always be a part of New Day, but maybe you'd be interested in a dual faction membership? <laughs> I'm intrigued, but we've certainly had our share of ups and downs, mostly downs. The gift basket was nice, but not enough to prove we could work together. Let's team up in a match and see how it goes. Then we'll talk. So essentially a trial period? That works for me. Great. I'll get the faction paperwork started. There's paperwork? Of course not. Just a little faction humor. <laughs> We're gonna have fun. They are ready for a fight. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 343 pounds, Eric Draymond and Xavier Lewis. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. from Valhalla, they are ready for battle. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders! Two big, bad, scary dudes who have run roughshod over the tag team division. Yeah, two absolute wrecking balls who are thirsty for demolition. It's a terrifying blend of size, speed, power, and agility. When you see these two behemoths walking towards you, a lot of people would argue the match is already over before the bell rings. Of all the superstars I'd have picked to team up with the former Intercontinental Champion, Xavier Woods probably would have been the last. Well, rumor has it that the pair have mended their fences since that catastrophic WWE 2K cover shoot. But I'll believe it when I see it. Boom! DDT! Eric. A running Hurricane Rana. 
Some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Gets him in position. This is not going... Uh-oh, this isn't going to end well for someone. Going up top. When all else fails, sometimes you just have to go the high risk and hopefully high reward route. Strong oh, kick. My goodness. Flying shoulder block. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Face first. Inverted STO. Caught him right on the bridge of the nose. This is what you call high risk, high reward. The crowd is fully behind Xavier Woods right now. This is when Woods becomes dangerous, when he can feed off this arena's pop. Oh, look out! Splash! Here uh -oh. comes Michael. Byron, you should try this once. One night. Stand. No thanks. He's able to sidestep there. Locking the wrist. And finds a counter. <laughs> Flying forearm connects. He's absorbing some tough hits now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Down they go! Yes, tag! He's returning fire! with the wherewithal to counter. Counter upon counter. Great minds think of like Running Swanton finds the mark. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look out! Top of the play drop. Hooked up. Ooh. A drop of the knee. Now he's been put on the defensive. We're going to finish it off. Swanton bomb! Oh, man. Ivar's lost any momentum here. Yeah, Ivar needs to find an opening fast. Oh, oh, oh. oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Got caught in the jaw with the knee. Eric able to take a stand there. But Eric has to push now while there's an opening. Left foot hospital, right foot graveyard. Ivar's in big, big trouble. Oh, and down. Oof. He can end it here. He's got him. It is enough. Finally, it's over. Here are your winners. Eric Draven and Xavier Wood making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. I'll save you the big song and dance. I know you're looking for people to fight your battles, and obviously, I'm your top choice. But if you want my help, you're gonna have to do something for me first.
Some of that was accurate, but what'd you have in mind? Corey Graves has been running around this past year saying how his show with Carmella is so much better than my show with Maurice, and I'm sick of it. I mean, their show isn't even on TV. Anyway, I would never lower myself to attack an announcer. But maybe someone else would, if you get my drift. With the situation I'm in, nothing is beneath me. Good. Corey trains at the PC on his off days. Head down there and shut him up.
He's no longer known as the lock, but he's as dominant as ever. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 138 pounds, Aaron Draven. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. We've seen this look before. This is a man possessed, ladies and gentlemen. The undeniable Cody Rhodes is back and ready to stake his claim atop WWE. Weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Corey, I will never forget the night that you and I had the opportunity to call this man's amazing return to WWE. You're right about that, Saxton. A true WrestleMania moment, if there ever was one. He fights every night to make his family, make his father proud. Well, I think they'll be even prouder after his match tonight. The original bro has arrived. Saxton, didn't you ride one of those to the arena today? And representing RK Bro from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, the original Bro, Matt Riddle. Don't let the scooter fool you. Matt Riddle was a top mixed martial arts talent before arriving in WWE. Devastating strikes, brutal submissions, and he's added some high-flying attacks. Riddle can beat you in so many ways. You cannot deny Matt Riddle's connection with the WWE Universe. Normally, that's a detriment to a superstar's in-ring performance, but Riddle's absolutely dominant there, too. The bruiser of the Brawling Brutes. And representing the Brawling Brutes 
from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Bush! I'll tell you, you never quite know exactly what you're getting with this guy. That's a very different competitor than he was in NXT, that's for sure. But fun to watch, nonetheless. Butch ain't wrapped right, okay? He's not quite all there. Yeah, but that's what makes him so dangerous. Tag team wrestling doesn't get much better than what we're about to see as the former Locke and Cody Rhodes team up to take on Riddle and Butch. And the stakes couldn't be more personal. Cody and his partner are fighting to bring home the Dusty Classic Trophy to the Rhodes family's trophy case. Pretty tasty subplot in play, too. Cody could become a powerful ally for the former Locke if he can help lead the American Nightmare to victory. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Oh, my God, all the way to the outside. That hurt. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Oof. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. Picking up speed. Drop kick right on the money. Snapmare could set something else up. Riddle is fading here. I think this riddle's almost solved. He gets out of the way. Tag is made. What do these two have in store? And oh, double shoulder block. Uh-oh, double underhook. This is gonna be nasty. Butterfly pile driver. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Oh, here it comes. The boom, bionic elbow. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, an overhand punch. Mud hole stomping. What a punch. The referee needs to check on that gas developing on Riddle's face. Oh, man. Cody Rhodes is just having his way here. Rhodes is unloading offense here. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Taken down by the neck. No, oh, oh, turn out the lights, the party's over. Riddle might be on Dream Street. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Oof. Leaping into the wheelbarrow. Up and around. And that was some vicious DDT we just saw. That's a forearm that'll floor you. Shoulders down. Almost ended it there. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Nose. 
Cody Rhodes drives them down with a vertebraker. Hard right hand. What are we going to see here? Uh oh. Spiking DDT. Rhodes looking to end this. Rhodes, Rhodes just turned the lights out. Cover. There's two. And after this bizarre match was made on social media, Cody Rhodes and his fill in partner have won the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Trophy. For Riddle. Well, this isn't the same as winning the actual tournament. Just having this trophy in his possession is huge for Cody Rhodes. And a sign of good sportsmanship from Riddle. Honestly, even he has to realize this trophy's in better hands now. Yeah, but at least no one will be eating cereal out of it anymore. Congrats again to Cody Rhodes. From the moment he debuted, this superstar has known how to make an entrance. The following contest is a handicap match. Introducing first from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 138 pounds, Eric Draven. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is gonna be good. Time to see what Tavish's prized pupil is really made of.
Oh, here come the men near the head of the table. And his opponents at a combined weight of 493 pounds, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. Both Jimmy and Jay have earned seats at the table with Roman Reigns. Roman, who has made both better. Well, I question that. Has Roman Reigns made Jimmy and Jay Uso better, or has Roman Reigns actually divided the Usos? Come on, let's go. It is just about impossible to overcome the bond that the Usos share, Saxton. The Usos have sat atop the WWE Universe ever since teaming up with Roman Reigns, and they'll look to extend their streak of dominance against the former Locke. Nobody in WWE works together more seamlessly than Jimmy and Jey Uso, so we expect their opponent to be backpedaling this entire bout with the bloodline. Backpedaling? I expect the former Locke to be on his actual back for a three count pretty quickly. There he goes, right into the corner. Jay puts a stop to that. Uh-oh. Flapjack! Way up there. Being carried around with ease. Straight impact on the throat. Ooh. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, man. Kick right on point. There's a wheelbarrow. Swanton. Some miscues from Jey Uso here. This won't end well. Oh! Ooh! Shot all the way to the outside! And now Jey is getting beaten down. All of Jey's arsenal is being restricted. Popping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Oh, round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. No. Oh, turn out the lights. The party's over. Jay is down and out. Harsh forearm draped across the middle rope. And down! Oof. Showing a lot of fury with these attacks. It's obvious to see how focused he is now. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. That's gonna be it. And he might have been able to cinch things there. I don't understand the choice to stop the pin count. Carefully measuring the on an right to the chest. Demoralizing spot for Jimmy Uso. Yeah, Jimmy keeps getting cut down at every move. Lights out for the pin and the win. Yes. Got a win. Wow, he's going to celebrate all night long. Here is your winner, Eric Draymond. They got to be happy about this victory tonight. After that win, this superstar stock is rising, and they are dancing all the way to the pay window.
Good luck cracking this code. It's the former lock. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 138 pounds, Eric Draven. You can see exactly why the arena is full here tonight. This is a match with major stakes. The former lock isn't a lock for anything anymore, folks. Buckle up. The mouthpiece of Imperium. Ladies and gentlemen, die Matte ist heilig. What you're about to witness is dignified the formation executed by unprecedented precision. A diabolical athlete who was stopped at nothing to uphold the integrity and honor of this great sport. Der Ring-General, Gunther! Well, that is quite an introduction from Kaiser, introducing Gunther and espousing their mission statement. Two of the founding members of Imperium, they've been at each other's side since the faction's debut. Gunther, the longest reigning NXT UK champion in history, held the Intercontinental Championship as well. Multiple NXT tag title reigns for Kaiser. And this is just the beginning for Imperium. These two on the same page, the same sentence, the same word, Cole, and that word is Imperium. In a surprising last-minute twist, the WWE superstar, formerly known as The Lock, is filling in for Brock Lesnar. Not such a surprising twist if you know Brock's been busy on a hunting trip all week. Come on, Cole, do your homework. Either way, the former Lock will have a tall order filling Brock's boots. Lighten up the chest, and now... Straight to the knee. Knew what was coming there. And Zagiri finds its mark. Going right after the neck. Neckbreaker. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Half kick right on point. Play 
position them right where they want them, into the corner. A set all the way to the outside. Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. Flying all the way to the outside. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. And he slides him back to the mat. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Makes him pay with a count. We're going to finish it off. Swan Tom Bomb. Hoping to end it here. This is it. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Eric Draven. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. He's no longer known as the lock, but he's as dominant as ever. The following is a handicap match. Introducing first from Detroit, Michigan, Weighing in at 138 pounds, Eric Draven. New name, same old mojo. This guy has swag. You can't teach confidence, Saxton. You're living proof. This superstar's roller coaster looks ready for one more ride.
Well, the greatest musician in WWE history. Cole, what are you talking about? This guy's not even the greatest musician currently walking to the ring right now. And their opponents, first from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Elias! Listen, I can't deny his in-ring ability, but when it comes to his music, I got no time for Elias. Oh, thank goodness they didn't put a stool in the ring. No concert tonight, but Elias is still going to put on a show. Guys, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I mean, I'm all zeked up. It's about time, Michael. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Ezekiel! We don't know a lot about him, but he trained with his older brother, Elias, so he learned from the best. Is this a joke, Cole? You and I have worked together for how long? Don't tell me you're buying into this nonsense, too. This is insanity. I think it's about time for Ezekiel to get out of his brother's shadow. Well, Byron, that's easier said than done since their shadows are both exactly alike. I don't know how they did it, but somehow Elias and his brother Ezekiel are teaming together here on SmackDown. Are they using holograms? Body double? Smooth trip. And he's just in reach of the ropes and gets it to force the break. The ropes become a competitor's best friend in desperate moments like that one. Into the corner. This can't be good. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Great reversal. Into the hammerlock. Oh, boy. Back suplex. Oh my god, a DDT! Spike them. Uh, rocked with the point of the elbow. Oh, hanging off for dear life. Oh, alley -oop bomb! Two count, no! A two count! Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Left foot hospital, right foot graveyard. Elias' eyes look glazed over. He's been placed in the corner now. Up on the turnbuckle now. And Elias reverses it. Uh-oh. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh, he got him. What a win. Here is your winner, Eric. Draven. They went the extra mile in this win. I agree. What a win. That's what happens when you put in the preparation and the training.
You can't put a label on talent like this or even a name, apparently. Michigan, weighing in at 138 pounds, Eric Draven. Dropping his old name seems like a cry for help. Am I the only one hearing it? All I hear is applause, Corey. The fans love it. Time to see what Tavish's prized pupil is really made of. We're about to see an air show. One of the best aerialists in WWE history. And from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet, one of the great high flyers in WWE today. But, Corey, how would you compare Ricochet to the high flyers of the past? You can name some of the all-time greats in Rey Mysterio, Shawn Michaels, superstars who truly excelled in the sky, but none to the level that Ricochet has. I just love to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because Ricochet is going to do something special here tonight. A young star with plenty of accolades. The youngest United States champion and the youngest Money in the Bank winner in WWE history. And from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. All the potential in the world, but unfortunately, a bad attitude too. The youngest Money in the Bank winner and also the youngest superstar to fail cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. Oh, shut up, Saxton. Money in the Bank was an anchor, an albatross, and Austin Theory is better having gotten rid of it. Time will tell, but you may be right, Corey. The age of Alexander continues. And from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Look, Cedric Alexander's had a lot of ups and downs in his career, but I admire the heck out of him for committing to a new career yeah. direction. Now, Alexander's held the Cruiserweight title, tag team titles, but tonight, Cedric looks for even more success. Cedric Alexander 
former Cruiserweight champion, former Raw Tag Team champion. And listen, he's got a bright future. The self-proclaimed show stealer. Do I sense sarcasm coming from you, Saxton? Maybe. And representing Dirty Dogs from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler! You know, Dolph Ziggler has twice been the sole survivor at Survivor Series. Well, sometimes you forget just how much Dolph Ziggler has really accomplished in WWE. But this is a superstar who has stood the test of time. Uh, he's truly a top dog, no doubt about that. Well, tonight just became happy. And from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Happy Corbin! This story just pulls my heartstrings. It is great when good things happen to good people. Good people? You think Happy Corbin's a good person? The amount of people he treats like absolute garbage? Hey, Corey, did you get the invite? I sure did. We Me are you. hitting the town. Go out with Corbin. Graves, hey, I, happy Corbin. I never got an invite, guys. There's a reason for that. Actually, there probably a dozen. A next level athlete. The gold standard. And from Orangeburg, South Carolina, weighing in at 248 pounds, Shelton Benjamin. To look at Shelton Benjamin's success, you have to look at his past. I mean, Benjamin trained in the same class as the likes of John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Randy Orton, and Batista. Get ready for a world-class education from a master-class athlete. Yeah, and Shelton Benjamin is constantly evolving. Always happy to remind the WWE Universe just who the heck he is. A promising young talent with a lot of swagger. And their opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. This guy has future star written all over him. The winner of the 2021 NXT Breakout Tournament, multiple-time NXT North American Champion, and unified that title with the Cruiserweight Championship. He's got a cocky attitude, but a bad habit of backing it up. Mello ready to do something special. There's few matches in WWE more challenging than an eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal. And that's exactly what we're witnessing here tonight. And battle royal is only as exciting as the superstars who show up, Cole. Luckily, this match is absolutely stacked with next level talent. Okay, everyone involved, I've got my eye on the superstar formerly known as The Rock who has more to prove than just about anyone in WWE right now. Oh, an elusive Benjamin there. And that, hold on 
a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. Remarkable power being shown here. I think he just wants to make his opponent. He is in serious trouble here and finds his way out. What's coming next? A back suplex. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. And that holds Fairy back. to it, returning to the ring. Able to escape the double chicken wing with some questionable tactics. Planning on what to do next. Going for the run. The following slam. Scouted. 
Snap mare. Oh, and the rolling neck snap. Oh. That's off with a DDT. Headlock. What are they doing here? Into a headstand? Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow. Uh-oh. And Dolph got bottled up there. Oh, it is over. Yet another big move, guys. Here is your winner, Eric Draven. He really got the better of the opposition here. I agree, it was quite the display tonight. This one felt special for the moment the bell rang. We knew it was going to be a show. He had really lived up to all the expectations. You can't put a label on talent like this or even a name, apparently. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 138 pounds, Eric Draven. Dropping his old name seems like a cry for help. Am I the only one hearing it? All I hear is applause, Corey. The fans love it. The former lock isn't a lock for anything anymore, folks. Buckle up.
king of strong style has arrived. Yeah, get ready. We're about to see the brutal striking ability of Shinsuke Nakamura on display. Shin is a true international superstar. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. The king of strong style is ready for action. His renowned striking ability, his MMA background. If you come at the king, you best not miss. Especially when the king can hit back. With Shawn Michaels' deadline looming, the former locks road to a WWE Championship will have to go through Shinsuke Nakamura. The road better not be that long, Cole. He's only got till SummerSlam. And with his Apex Tournament trophy on the line, the former champion really can't afford to take any steps back. He needs to add hardware, not lose it. Neckbreaker. Placing them into the corner. Ah, oh, the reversal by Shinsuke Nakamura. Picture perfect takedown. Strong right forearm. Powerless position to be in right now. Ooh, right to the throat. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Oh, it's punishing the right arm. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hole. Incredibly important moment right there, being able to get to the ropes. It can't be understated how the left side could have just saved this match. Cover! And a strong kick out in one. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure anything will. Harsh forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Oof. Heads out of the ring. What's next? DDT. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Whip back into the ring. Ooh. Ridiculous standing shooting star. He's getting a little batter now. Getting him into the corner. Oh, the jaw getting rattled. He's returning fire. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. The king of strong style is being dismantled. Not that we're having a tough time here. Able to avoid any harm there. Prime opportunity now for him to get some separation and gather himself. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. It's truly impressive to completely beat the count here. Nakamura thought he had him, thought he had this match all wrapped up. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Both knees into the face. And Shinsuke, victim to some further punishment there. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Oh, that's going to sting your back. He knows how to avoid contact. 
Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. Left foot hospital, right foot graveyard. Nakamura could be conquered. He did it. In this unique scenario, the Apex Tournament trophy has been successfully defended against Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke thought he would have won this trophy if WWE and Pro Wrestling Japan had included him in the tournament, but he might not be feeling that way anymore. Well, at the very least, maybe this will give Nakamura some closure and he can move on with his career.